I think, I think you are saying to us um, that the state pension of any individual in Scotland after, in the event of separation uh, would not be adversely affected, that they would continue to get the level of state pension the same as everyone else in the UK. The question of how that cost is allocated between Scotland and the, in the, in the UK is a matter of, of haggling and process and all the rest of it. But people themselves can be assured that their pensions are secure. And I think, taking your point, David, if the Scottish Government then decides to increase the pension at all, they will have to meet the entirety of the cost, since it would be patently unreasonable for them to be able to pay it, decide to pay out more, but decide to have somebody else paying for it. Is that, that, that an accurate reflection of the position? Yes, yeah, so they, they have um, accumulated rights into the UK system under the UK system's rules. So, as, as David says, to a pension at our age, at the age we would have paid it to them, not at the age the Scottish Government uh -huh. would have paid it. Right, fine, thanks.